very good defense. We did a very good job of 5 and 6. They were 0 for 3. Uh, 6 for 5 was very good. There were 6 out of 8. Uh, we started the game a little bit nervous. Made some uh, uh, poor passes and missed some easier opportunities. But as the game went on, we got our confidence and we ended up playing uh, the way we are capable of playing. So overall, it was a good defensive game for us. And we played all our players. Nadia, what's it like to play UCLA? Um, it's thrilling, it's exciting, it's, um, it's our biggest rivalry, and we're really, really excited to have a, another chance to play against them tomorrow. What's it like, though, when you're in the pool with them and playing? So the, the games are so close and the stakes are so high. Um, it's, it's the biggest, I mean, what's it like? It's emotional, it's exciting. Um, you know what's at stake, but it's also what we play sports for. So it's what we live for in these kind of games. So. Is it more physical than playing other teams? Is there more trash talking? Is there? Machine? I wouldn't say it's like that. I wouldn't say it's, there's trash talking. We respect each other. We respect the rivalry. Um, but we all know that we're all coming out there to play UCLA. You, you grew up. Knowing this rivalry, did you? I mean, since you could remember sports, I would assume. Yes. Can you talk about that sometimes? Uh, I mean, growing up being a USC fan, I guess UCLA was always the crosstown rival, but it just it makes it a lot more exciting when I get to actually play against them because I've been a spectator for the majority of my life. So it's just a really interesting experience to be able to finally compete and play. You, were you at Cal when your dad team won the men's championship? Yes. And so you're watching your dad and your brother play UCLA. What's that like? That's really exciting. Um, I really enjoy watching my brother play. He's probably one of my favorite um, players. I think he's just a really crafty young man. And I mean, watching them be successful, the two of them together, is just a really emotional experience. And, I, and it was an honor to be there. It's an emotional experience for you to play for your dad? Um, no. I've gotten quite a bit of time to prepare for it. Um, I always wanted to come to USC. I knew I'd, he was the person I would want to play for, so I've kind of had a lot of time to really think and, and prepare myself for how it's going to be to play for him. So, I mean, yes, it, I guess it is emotional. Playing for anybody is emotional, but not one more than anyone else. I know a lot of your teammates were offered by UCLA for you. Um, or do they just assume you were going to USC? Uh, the only offer I got from UCLA was, I don't even think official, I, it actually may have been a joke, but Brandon Brooks handed me his card at, uh, like Ella, at a game once when I was, but I think it, and this wasn't even when he was a head coach, this was Adam Corian, and, but I don't think that counts for anything. <laughs> so I would say no. Nadia, as far as this game goes today, you and Monica both didn't score, you're two of the top scorers, but you saw a lot of your teammates score. Um, what does it mean? Did you feel like you put together the game plan that you wanted, and is it good to see your teammates really firing in shots like that? It is. It was exciting. It was really exciting to see other people step up and put the ball in the cage, and you know we really focused on defense and having them only score two goals is a good way to start this tournament. Gilvan, did you feel like the game plan you set up today was a good foundation for tomorrow? I think so. I think the girls uh, did an excellent job. In Preventing uh, Princeton from taking some uh, uh, high percentage shots and we blocked some shots. Uh, Flora did a good job. I think we hustled in the events. We, we had quite a few steals. And uh, overall, I, I, I'm very pleased with the way we defended. And uh, it's, it's a good, uh, it was a great game for us to get ready for uh, semifinals.